That's the inspiring thing about it is that there's always another level to work towards. That is something for you to identify is, okay, once I reach a certain goal, what do I want to do next? Don't just sit on your hands afterwards, but take it as a really big shot of confidence and saying, oh my gosh, I did this. Oh, what could I possibly do now? Hi, hello, welcome to you. Welcome to day nine, day nine out of 10. 10 days to summer, 10 days of summer. 10 days that are not quite summer, but we're just talking about summer and preparing for it because that is what we should do, right? How can we think forwardly, progressively, and help ourselves to plan ahead in terms of what we want in our lives, okay? Businesses do it, companies do it, why shouldn't we? Hi. <laughs> That's my concept. Okay, so number nine, number nine. Now, n first thing, first thing, first thing. If you have not seen number one through eight, go back. I'm telling you, go back to number one. Do all of the work. It doesn't take long, but it's really, really crucial and important. You will not get the same amount of benefit if you don't, okay? This is a process, and this was part of my process that I wanted to share with you that I take my clients through. I mean, this is huge. I am a, I am a, I'm a process freak, I, I, can, I confess. It's important to me to take my clients through a specific process because here's the thing, you can't do anything or everything overnight. So it's really important that we actually assess, okay, strategize, what is the goal and how do we get there? And how do we do it in a way that is sustainable? And not only that, but here's the thing, in my opinion, I don't believe that it's sustainable if it's not enjoyable. Number nine is always keeping another goal in front of you, carrying with you the principle of growth, okay? There's always something new to be working towards. There's always another level. All right, so many people that I know around me yo-yo because they get to a certain level of success and they're like, yeah, I made it. And then they stop growing and then they digress or they reverse back into other patterns and other habits and they don't consider continuing to grow, continuing to move upon a higher trajectory of success. There's always another level. I'm a personal trainer. There are people that are more fit than me and I admire that and I love that and I wanna be able to like walk on my hands and crazy stuff like that. Like, I love it. I've been working on my own handstand. Like, it's exciting. It's, it's in, invigorating to think, oh, what is our potential? What could we possibly do now? Like, that has always fascinated me. Whenever I started running in 20, 2010, I did my first 5K. I could run, five, side note, side note, I could run 10 miles on a treadmill. I did my first 5K, I had to walk twice. Now I still placed in my age group that day, but I was absolutely miffed that I had to walk twice on a 3.1 mile course when I could run 10 miles on the treadmill. That made no sense to me at the time. I was not a trainer yet. I was intrigued. So I said, oh, I wonder you know, what my potential is within this. Can I do an 8K? Can I do a 10K? What about a half marathon? That was fall of 2011. Can I do a full marathon? That was fall of 2012. Can I do an ultra marathon? That was fall of 2012 as well. You know, I just, I got really fascinated on exploring what the potential of my body was. And I still do, because here's the thing, our bodies show up differently every day, every month, every year. We are different creatures every single day. If you ever practice yoga, typically they'll tell you this, you know, your body might show up differently today than it did yesterday. And that's totally normal, totally normal. You know, mentally you might show up differently today than you did yesterday. How can you improve? What's your potential? What could you accomplish? Doesn't that sound exciting? Doesn't that sound intriguing? You know, what is it that you would love to do? So number nine is that, you know, always to be growing always be growing and there's always something new or another level and another side note here keep your priorities in check you know for some of my friends they've gotten into like half iron mans full iron mans like they get into triathlons and that's like literally a part-time job on top of whatever they're doing already and i think that's beautiful i would love i have goals to do a half and a full iron man in my future i love the triathlon and i love the dynamics that it presents but it's a lot, it's a lot of commitment and it takes a different prioritization in my life than I have right now, 
right now my work is a big prioritization in my life. And then I have my training. And then I have, you know, all of the other things. My training is my self-care, you know, taking care of myself and my body. And then also outside of that is taking care of this little puppy that's over here. He's still sleeping. <laughs> and, uh, you know, taking care of my home life, my, you know, taking care of my relationship with my boyfriend, with Brian, and etc. So keep your priorities in mind when that comes to fruition, all right? Accomplish your goal and then think about what's next and how it ties into all of the areas of your life holistically. All right? Share this with somebody that you care about. I look forward to talking with you soon. If I can help you, reach out to me. Send me a message. Leave me your comments. Leave me your likes. Whatever, whatever. I look forward to talking with you. Tomorrow is day 10. Tomorrow is day 10 and we are talking about keeping personal growth as a personal value. All right? I look forward to talking with you.